Welcome to the Pediatric Ventilatory Management Skill Station. These progressive skills are designed to evaluate your ability to provide immediate and aggressive ventilatory assistance to an apneic infant who has no other associated injuries. This is a non-trauma situation and cervical precautions are not necessary. You are required to demonstrate sequentially all procedures you would perform, from simple maneuvers and adjuncts to endotracheal innovation. You will have three attempts to successfully innovate the mannequin. You must actually ventilate the mannequin for at least 30 seconds with each adjunct and prop and procedure utilized. I will serve as your trained assistant and will be interacting with you throughout these skills. I will correctly carry out your orders upon your direction. Do you have any questions? I do not. Upon your arrival to the scene, you observe the infant as he or she goes into respiratory arrest and becomes unresponsive. A palpable brachial pulse of 106 is still present. Bystander ventilations have not been initiated. The scene is safe and no hemorrhage or other immediate problems are found. PSIP, my scene is safe. I'm going to manually open the airway with a head tilt chin lift. While I'm doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and get some padding, place it under the child's shoulder blades, torso, to help keep the airway open. I'm gonna choose the correct oral adjunct. I'm gonna measure the oral adjunct. I'm going to secure the tongue, insert the oral adjunct. No gag reflex is present and the patient accepts the adjunct. Okay. I'm going to make sure I've got my pediatric BVM and ventilate my patient. Ventilation is being performed without difficulty and a pulse oximetry indicates that the patient's blood oxygen saturation is 85%. Okay. I would grab my oxygen tubing, connect it to my tank. Make sure that I am on 15 meters per minute. Connect to my bag and continue ventilating my patient at 12 to 20 breaths per minute on high flow oxygen. Breath sounds are present, equal bilaterally, and medical direction has ordered intubation. Okay, I'm going to instruct my partner to pre oxygenate the patient. While she's pre oxygenating the patient, I'm going to check my equipment. So I'm going to make sure I have uh, the correct tube size that I want, um, my correct uh, laryngoscope handle and blade. Light. Oh, make sure that's right, tight, and bright. No bulbs I need to inflate. I've got a securing device and I've got a stethoscope. Uh, once the, you've, um, the next step will instruct you to remove the BVM and the oral adjunct. So after your next breath, go ahead and remove the BVM and the oral adjunct. Position the head. See the cords, visualizing the cords, passing my tube into the correct depth. Like that. Tube's in the correct depth. Can you uh, put the mask back on there? Move that off. And secure the tube for me. While she's got that in securing the tube, I am going to check for our sounds over the epigastrum and bilateral breath sounds. So I don't have any sounds over the epigastrum. If you have proper placement, what would you expect to hear? I would expect to hear equal bilateral breath sounds, which I do. Confirm my um, by capnography. So I can Take my capnography, connect it to my monitor, and then while you still got the tube secured, I'm gonna remove this. Place this on here. Place the tube back on. Resecure the tube for me. Continue giving ventilations, um, and I should see a, um, a waveform, capnography waveform on my monitor. And then at that time, I will. Uh, I would secure the device.